Good morning, right, two extra selections for today. Nice to get the lucky last winner again. After tipping up the last winner, Glorious Rio and Carlisle the other night, nice to tip up Maru to win the last in uh, Kempton. So do not miss them late selections. Hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel. Right, two extra selections for today. There's already three more gone out. We have there on the channel. Check that out. Also, don't miss Connor Gartland's golf selections, lads. Get on that now early. Right, before the tee off. So, we have today Command Hector in the last race of the year. I just don't know if Chris Wall ever sends too many horses to air. If he, even if he ever sent a horse to air. I don't know. I can't remember him having too many runners up here. That doesn't mean he hasn't. But I just don't see Chris Wall's name in the car to air too often at all if not never i've never seen it here so command hector by postponed now look it's first run in a handicap ben curtis is on board he's off a of mark of 67 i thought he ran well on debut in new market i thought he ran okay in his next two runs but you know okay in your next two runs is fine the potential was definitely there uh, so the favorite sophisticate is definitely a solid option in a race like this she's going to run her race but she has nothing hidden from the handicapper. She's been so genuine, so consistent. So if there is a horse that has upside, it's this guy. Um, can he get the win? I hope so. Connections are coming a very long way. And uh, they'd be disappointed. It's the last race of the night, lads. They're up here in the middle of the night. They want to be collecting. And they'd be disappointed. Uh, it'd be disappointing for the horse and for connections if he can't win off this mark. Because he is nicely bred. And he, uh, yeah, he should improve at some stage. All right interesting and then another horse overpriced i think in the 640 at well i won't say overpriced i'll say fairly priced in the 640 at doncaster is sabby sabby is this price because of her flop on the all weather the last day but she she was drawn out in the car park i think 13 or 14 or something like that she was drawn out wide she just couldn't do nothing sam hitchcock is pushing up the outside he's nowhere else he can go there's nothing he can do he's just caught wide from a bad draw so she then flattens out and uh, yeah levels off and runs a poor race but if you go back to her three turf runs all full of promise arguably should have won in salisbury wasn't given an overly hard time got out in the clear a bit late or let out the favorite that day that won or the horse that won kind of angled up her inside a bit uh look she's more to come the favorite in this race beat her on debut but she did have a little excuse that day but the favorite beat her on debut so he can surely improve you think past her but he's 11 to 8 and she's uh 12 to 1 and he can blow the start he done it the last time stayed on to be second so you know he could he might not help himself from the get-go but at 12 to 1 we're in stall 2 i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing lads there's more pace on the outside it seems or more good horses on the outside but what can we do she's 12 to 1 uh bucky's will be paying extra places there's more to come and a big plus sean levy takes over i think this filly will run a solid race uh, at 12 to 1 all right a point each way uh new months beginning another selection gone out today uh four pints win on a horse in brighton let's get this bread right check that out if you want links in the bio the new tier and uh, yeah nice to kick off our accumulator last night with the first one winning also a win single on them and uh, three more to go on that right enjoy dingle races lads on this weekend if you have never been to the championship of horse and pony racing it's an absolute phenomenal weekend where the future stars compete at a very competitive level it's exciting thrilling you know it's 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 unbelievable and the dingle derby is the biggest race of the year it's all about it i was lucky enough to win it as a kid myself and uh, some of the best jockeys in the world have won it coming through and uh, yeah it's unbelievable so check that out right if you're if you're at not and get yourself to the dingle races all right enjoy and bet safe